Hi guys, you're welcome back. We are looking at the Android 2.2.3 review in which we'll be talking about the layout editor. The Android Studio 2.2.3 features a new user interface designer. There are many enhancements, but some of the highlights include drag and drop widget from the palette to the design surface or the component tree view of your app. Design surface has a blueprint mode to inspect the spacing and arrangement of your layout. Properties panel now shows a curated set of properties for quick widget edits with a full sheet of advanced properties one click away. UI Builder can edit menu and system preferences file. The drag and drop is just this. Let's get to look at the drag and drop. This is Android Studio 2.2.3. Uh, let's get to drag and drop. We're dragging a progress dialog. Progress bar. You can see it. So the drag and drop functionality is right effective. Let's drag and drop the ratings bar. Can you see this? So you can as well edit it, which is this. Do some little trick with it. And uh, you can also, if you see the properties bar over here, this is the properties bar of this particular element. Uh, which is for the progress bar we have the style the layout width layout height the maximum the progress the visibility so you can set all that for the progress bar and even for the rating scale we have all the palettes uh elements that you can use the have bar layout uh the text view button toggle button check button radio button and so on so that's just a new layout editor of the android studio 2.2.3 we have the constraint layout this new layout is a flexible layout manager for your app that allows you to create dynamic user interfaces without nesting multiple layouts it is distributed as a support library that is tightly coupled with android studio and backwards compatibility to api level 9. at first glance constraint layout is similar to relative layout However, the constraint layer was designed to be used in studio and it can eff efficiently express your app design so that you rely on fewer layouts like linear layouts, frame layouts, table layout, or grid layout. Lastly, with the built-in automatic constraint inference engine, you can freely design your UI to your liking and let Android Studio do the hard work. So it's for you to get constraint layout into your Android Studio application using the Android Studio 2.2.3 at the editor you can pick uh, the particular layout file which is the relative layout here when you right click you can convert the relative layout to a constraint layout so you click on this we automatically convert it so this action will convert your layout into constraint layout and attempt to set up constraints such that your layout looks the way it did before you may need to go and adjust the constraint afterwards to ensure that it behaves correctly for different screen sizes that is going to flatten the layout hierarchy or you accept don't flatten layout reference from other files any uh check button here so try to read more constraint layout so let's click and let's have all uh, this operation you grab the library constraint layout would you like to add this library now? Yes, you need to add the library in the project dependency right there in the Gradle file. So let's click OK. So now we have our layout converted to constraint layout. So get rid of constraint layout, start to use constraint layout in your Android application. Can you notice this? Uh, it has changed the tag to Android support constraint layout over here and also down here. So when you go to your Gradle scripts, uh, try to go to the build Gradle model app session, you'll notice that the compile come and support constraint layout 1.0.0 bet 4 has been added to the dependencies model. So what else do we really have right there? When we go to the develop session, you need a uh, newly Firebase plugin has been added to Android Studio 2.2.3. Firebase is the new suite of developer services that can help you develop high-quality apps, grow your user base, and earn more money. It's the inside of Android Studio you can add Firebase to a new or existing 
Android app with the new assistant window. To access the Firebase features, click on the tools on menu and then select Firebase. You notice Firebase over here. Uh, so you will, you will want to first set up the branding Firebase analytics as the foundation. You click on this, we actually give you access to Firebase. Can you see the analytics? Uh, we have the cloud messaging, authentication, real-time database, storage, remote config, test lab, crash report. These are all Firebase features. Notification, app indexes, indexing, dynamic links, invites, even add mob. A full feature of Firebase uh, implementation. So you click on this to generate the code. So you don't really need to start sourcing here and there for different Firebase module. We get to have our build whereby we have the CMake and the NDK build. These are new features right in the Android Studio 2.2.3. For those of you using the Android NDK, Android Studio now supports building CMake and NDK build. Android app projects for pointing Gradle to your existing build files. Once you've added your CMake or NDK build project to your Gradle, Android Studio will automatically open your relevant Android code files for editing and debugging in Android Studio. So take use of the, N of the CMake and NDK file. Now we have the merge manifest viewer. No, figuring out how your manifest merges with your project dependency based on build types, flavors, and variants is now easier with Android Studio 2.2. Navigate to your Android manifest, which is over here. You get to see what manifest is doing. Let me try to reduce this. Now, downwards, can you see the merged manifest? So a click on this will get you understanding how the manifest actually merges with your dependencies. And you see this including merge but did not contribute any elements. We have the vector drawable, the core utilities, the media compact, and so on. So these are the manifest sources, and uh, you can easily go through that. We have the Expresso text recorder. Sometimes writing UI tests can be tedious. With the record Expresso UI tests feature, creating tests is now as easy as just using your app. Android Studio will capture all your UI interactions and convert them into a fully reusable Expresso test that you can run locally or even on Firebase Test Lab. To use the recorder, you go to the run menu over here and you select record Expresso test once you click on this uh, it's going to actually ask for a virtual machine which is uh uh pick my mobile phone so you run this uh you get to have so we're going to have the expresso text recorder let's get to look at gradu it's actually building up yeah it's building up so let's finish and uh let's get to see the expresso text recording okay let's install it the apk right success um Can you notice this? It's recording your test. So no event recorded at the moment. So if you need to add some assertions or you need to complete recording, right there on my device, uh, there's no uh, error whatsoever. I only have the uh, rating scale and uh, I also have the progress bar rolling up and down. So I can easily complete my can you see it's tap, tapping the floating action button? As I tap the floating action button, uh, some tests are being recorded when I'm trying to test up certain so settings. Um, I tap up the floating action button, and even the rating scale, I try to drag it up and down. The floating action button is actually the major test here. So you can actually use this to test uh, the, the UI of your application. So once you're through, you click on complete recording. So you, the test class name, 
save it up so it's going to be sure that you've actually tested this particular application can you see the main activity test so this uh expresso test recorder is very handy and useful uh in the new android studio 2.2.3 we have the apk analyzer the new apk analyzer helps you understand the contents and sizes of different components in your apk you can also use it to avoid 64k referenced methods limit issues with your text file you diagnose the program configuration issues your view match man android manifest just XML file and inspect the compiled resources file this can help you reduce your apk size and ensure your apk contains exactly the things you expect the apk analyzer shows you both the raw file size as well as the download size of various components in your apk the download size is estimated size users needed to download when the apk is served from google play this information should help you prioritize where to focus in your size reduction to use this new feature you click on the build menu over here and select analyze apk so it's going to actually tell you to search for your apk which is actually uh this the app the bug apk because we have just built up this particular application so let me analyze it i click on ok to get it analyzed can you notice what we have in this apk we have the classes the decks we have the rest folder which are the layout the uh the drawable the color the anime the layout and so on you know and i have the meta information that also is my android manifest and as well as you can see the sizes of each of those files or folders if you notice uh the classes the decks is the highest with 3.6 mb so the download size is 1.1 mb what about the total download it should be 85.7 percent you know you can be able to analyze your apk know where the strength is know where some models are know how to actually reduce know what to reduce what to do so you have your apk like uh extracted you know to the source files that actually make up the apk so this is just uh some of the analysis and this is just some of the new uh inclusion to uh the the android studio 2.2.3 we see we have some other aspect that i never really dig in deep into which is the layout inspector and uh we have uh the improved jack tools whereby and also we have uh some java aware c plus plus debugger and the auto debugger selection you can get to read more on that and know what they are actually all about if you're using a previous version of android studio you can check for updates on the canary channel from the navigation menu help over here check for updates so once you click the check for update android studio is going to check the latest updates this update will download a new version and not the patch your existing copy of android studio you can also download android studio 2.2.3 which is the latest version as a time of record of this particular review thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout the session and stick by never go anywhere always subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye